All right, day three. We'll see what I can get done. I already emptied out. There's these little storage compartments under here, under the back side. Um, I emptied those out. There wasn't much in them. I just got some totes. Like some stuff I forgot I even had. I even had like some of my toolboxes, like for my my electric impact. This is for that AC manifold thing. Uh, for doing AC work on a car. And uh, yeah, so there's just a little bit of stuff in there. Um, what I did was because I'm, I pulled out a lot of weight off the front. Um, travel trailers and RVs, pretty much anything that um, you live in um, while you're going on a road have these, essentially they're jack stands. So they're jack stands underneath and you put them on that little yellow platform thing and then you, you put pressure down. And essentially what that'll do is because of all the weight I took off of the front, it'll keep it from yeah, keep the trailer from going up on the front where the tongue is. Um, yeah. When you're in an RV park, you put them down and it just stabilizes the whole thing. So it's just basically like you're on a, you know, like you don't, there's no sway or anything in the trailer. Because trailers can move, especially if they're just on, they're just hooked to a truck or hooked to the landing gear and uh, just on the wheel. So, yeah, that's basically what that's for. And I'm going to keep it from, keep keep that so when I'm working on it, nothing moves or anything on me ah uh, all right we're gonna get this thing started i'm gonna work i think in the back to the front i don't know if the video shows something different then i try to change my mind but i think that's what i'm gonna do um start with these windows and start cutting out hopefully it goes as quick as yesterday because yesterday was pretty awesome all right done for day three um a couple things first of all yes i am wearing the same outfit as on one of the previous days and i'll be wearing another outfit that's probably the same as i was yesterday just because these are swim trunks and like just work what i call work outfits because i'm completely drenched in sweat this just takes a lot of work and florida humidity so yeah that's why and also it doesn't it might not look like we did too much today but there was a lot that had to be done like that they, that refrigerator had to come out and the ac units some of the two of the biggest things in there 
Um, so we got that done. The rest would be a lot easier. Um, and also, okay, we'll, we'll show you what's going on. This is the front, this is the tongue. That's where the propane tanks sit. Back over here. We're basically all the way to that last room right over here. Well, last room slash bathroom. There was also a shower and stuff there. But um, yeah, that this shouldn't take quite as much. There's not as much stuff I got to mess around with. There aren't as many electrical wires that I got to mess with because this isn't the... I, w I went through the brain of the trailer essentially and it took me forever to cut all those wires so I could get the pieces off. Oh, what a pain. Um, but yeah, it's done up to the point... And I could be doing these a lot. I could be spending the whole day on it. I could be doing it in half the time that I'm doing it right now. But I have other obligations. Oh, well, I got to make a run to the storage unit and drop off those totes that we had that you saw earlier in the video. Where, yeah, I'm dropping off totes and basically just, uh, yeah, bringing those to storage for now because I don't know exactly what we're going to do with those if we even need any of the stuff in there or not. Also, I. I've, as you see through the video, I decided I opted to go from the front all the way to the back just because I have I have these riggers down bound down here and they're holding tight. Um, I'm not really concerned about the trailer kind of like doing a wheelie. Um, it's really really um, yeah it's it's got some pressure back there and they're holding good. So we're just gonna do that. Work my way from the back from the front to the back all the way. Hopefully I knock this out in one more day. If not two more days, it doesn't matter. I'm taking my time with it. I'm not going to rush. That's when yeah, I just get too overwhelmed. All right, that's it. Well, end of day day three. Going to run some stuff to storage unit, and upcoming day four. All right, day four. Ideally, this day four will be the last day that I work on this. I don't know if that's going to be the case though. There's been certain things that have taken me by surprise, especially like the electrical so much electrical wiring that slowed me down some other days but i'm gonna get started to work on it and we'll see if we can get this last little section right here out today it's just a small box <clears throat> it looks like it would be easy to do but hey we'll only see once we get started so let me stop talking and get this whole process started hopefully this is the last day if not then we could just go to day five whatever <laughs> But I've been taking my time doing everything methodically, and hopefully we have all the walls and the roof off by the end of today. If not, whatever, I got another day ahead of me, but it is what it is. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> Here we go.
you get it. You get what was going on in the last part. <laughs> I couldn't finish off. I, I did. I recorded all the time lapse except for the last very wall. But you get what actually happened. I just cut down the last part, part of the wall and that was done on day four. I finished it on day four. I couldn't record it, unfortunately. It started downpouring and I didn't want to get destroy my camera. So I opted to put it away and work in the rain because I, I, I really wanted to get this done today um, and be able to actually go home and eat dinner. It is crazy. I don't even know what time it is. It's sometime in the afternoon. I'm exhausted, but this is the end result. Well, not the end result. It's going to be a lot better over time, but the walls and the roof are gone. Nothing but basically some wood frame around the axle uh, frame of the the frame of the trailer. Uh, there's a box, there's this, like a welded uh, box back there that was used for storage. And I'm actually going to use that. Uh, I'm going to relocate that eventually. Once I actually start working on the trailer more, I'm going to relocate that box to the front. And then the back part will be like the... The back part will be like the utility trailer. You can put anything on there. You can put like two cars on here. You, you could probably put two cars. Well, maybe without that box. But yeah, you could put like... You could put storage stuff in that box. That, that framed out welded box. That I'm going to keep. And then... Yeah. That is a giant pile of stuff over there. So... Now we get to get a 30 cubic yard roll off and load that up but we don't have to do that right now now it's time to relax for the weekend all right i'm gonna go get cleaned up because i'm freaking beat thanks for watching